Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the standard in variable. Um, in the previous video, we look at standard out and we start off since it just represents a file that is file system, the operating system already, or in this case, Golang makes available to you through the file system that in your program, at least you can use it like any other file in terms of a file that you can read from. We're not going to discuss whether you can write to it. Um, I'm sorry for standard out a file you can write to and we are not going to discuss whether or not you can read from it really and then the same thing for standard in the one we're going to look at today is this file that Golang makes available to you and you can read from it again we're not going to talk about whether or not you can actually write to it and so that's what we're going to look at today is how to read some data from standard in which we know by now is connected to your keyboard so essentially what we're going to be saying in this video is how do you read text from the keyboard or do you get input from the person typing at the keyboard in your program and so that's what we're going to be looking at so let's jump in here and then we're going to jump over to our um, code here and start manipulating creating our directory and so on and function main that go file and then the next important thing is to start using standard in and so we know if we want to read from a file we have to have a buffer um, which we're going to read data into that file so we create a buffer of 100 bytes and when we read and we check for errors if we don't have any errors then we print out how many bytes we've read and also um, the contents of that buffer and then we can also cast that buffer to a string and see what it look like as a string. So um, if we now run our program, we should see that um, we're going to be prompted to enter some text. Um, of course, we don't have a prompt yet, but we're going to see that oh, it's, it's going to be a prompt for some to enter some text. And when we enter the text, we see that it's exactly what we um, wrote. Now it says that we read 14 bytes, and if you count it up, you'll see only 13 bytes. But the 14 bytes is that new line character that you don't see because a non-printable character. So um, that is also read into the buffer. But when we print it, it's printed there, but you can't see it. Hence why after our hello, we have a new line. But we also have two new lines because we're using the print ln. And so if we take that off and say just print whatever our string is, we're going to see it's still going to go to a new line because there's a new line that it read from the input. So everything that you type at a keyboard is actually placed into that buffer. So one of the things we might want to do is just go back and take off the last character that was um, given to us in um, the input that we read from the user. So again, that's fairly easy to do. But um, Let's write now a function that we're going to use for getting input from the user. So if we want to get input, we don't have to do like the whole OS that std read and so on. Uh, we can just call our function and it takes care of the whole deal and return whatever the user type as string. We're just going to deal with the user entering string. Because even if they enter numbers, you're going to see, we can just represent everything as a string. And so that should be fairly easy for us to deal with. And so um, again, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's not important how I type it. You just want to look at the end result is what you want to focus on. And so I have um, this function and I'm going to call it on line 11 and say, save the number of bytes that were read and the data, of course, in data. And I'm going to provide a prompt. And inside the function, I'm going to prompt the user on line 17, then read the input in between on 19 check for error, of course, the usual thing, cast that buffer into a string and return. Now, since I already have n defined and data, it's going to return n and, and d, and n and d, sorry, n and data. And so now let's run it and test it. And we can see it. I enter some string. And of course, we see the result. And we can slice off the last character. Like I just said, we, we can do to make it so that we don't have this weird thing of we're returning the new line always. Now, oh. once we've done that, we can go back and start using our um, myread function to do some nice things for us. And basically, we can say we don't need to return how many bytes are read because we always return in string. We can always get the length of the string. So no point in returning the number of bytes that are read. And now we can do it to prompt in for sort of like a username and the age and then printing out however we want. And of course, that's make um, it possible for us to do nice silly things like 
this program in which we you know get a username and age print it out and then we go back and we could put quotes around the name and age so again very very simple and straightforward program now that you see how to read input from standard in as you can see it's not very difficult at all just like reading from a file okay that's it a very simple program um not gonna waste your time um thumbs up the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you're listening to this um spread the word um definitely appreciate it and keep coming back see you in the next video take care bye